Previously on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Music's biggest night. The CMA Awards were uh, held earlier tonight here on ABC. Luke Bryan and Peyton Manning were back as hosts for the second year in a row. Luke, uh, as usual, was funny and, and charming. Peyton threw for three touchdowns, uh, 270 yards. It was great. Best quarterback rating ever for an award show. So congratulations. <laughs> oh, there they are, looking like the office bros trying to convince you to go to happy hour at Ruby Tuesdays <laughs> on a Wednesday night. Uh, and here they are being honored with the J.D. Power Award for Best Full and Midsize Regional Sales Team at Greenway <laughs> Kia. Everyone was there, all the CMA listeners, even Paula Abdul was there. World-renowned country music superstar Paula Abdul <laughs> presented the award for Album of the Year. Maybe she thought she was at the VMAs? I don't know. I'm pretty sure the closest Paula Abdul ever got to country music was being replaced by Keith Urban on American Idol. I <laughs> But, you know, they bring a lot of people from a lot... Even the Golden Bachelor was a presenter tonight. At the, um, which, that actually makes sense. You know, an old man trying to find love is one of the most country music things there is. You <laughs> put him in a truck, you got a hit right there. The only big country stars that weren't on the CMA show tonight are here. Blake Shelton and Luke Grimes are with us today. Backstage, getting to know each other, and then we'll bring them out and... They'll be delightful, I'm sure. The other big live TV event tonight was the Republican debate on NBC, which putting the Republican debate on opposite the CMA Awards, it make, makes no sense. It's, it's like putting lasagna up against a Swedish meatball. Nobody's going to watch it. But the GF, GOP dopefuls were just happy to be on television. These are the five Republicans who qualified for this debate. And, yes, sadly, those are the best pictures they could get. They, uh... <laughs> Every one of them looks like they're complaining to the manager at a Starbucks. <laughs> Chris Christie, Ron DeSantis, Nikki Haley, Vivek Ramaswamy, and Tim Scott. It's a who's who of who has no chance to beat Donald Trump. <laughs> but for these five Republicans, the stakes were higher than the lifts in a pair of Ron DeSantis' boots. This is a big <laughs> night. As usual, Trump's absence was the elephant in the room, although Trump said Chris Christie was the elephant in the room. But... <laughs> But he said it, I didn't. <laughs> but it is ridiculous to have these debates without the front runner. I mean, the guy who they're trying to beat. You know things have gone sideways when you're watching something and you're thinking, God, I wish Donald Trump was there. <laughs> but he wasn't. Trump sees no point to sharing the stage with anyone, and so instead, he had his own debate tonight. Tonight, in an unprecedented television event, former President Donald Trump meets his match. Former President Donald Trump. We're going to extinguish 180 million people with their private health care. Well, it's the debate to end all debates. Donald J. Trump versus Donald J. Trump with no prompters. The country it's China's left, left wide should have never happened. No rules. I, 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 no, I, I, the answer to the question is no. Right. No, I, sir. No brains. And you look at what's going North on with Carolina, divorce. When you look, look at what's going on with alcoholism and drugs. It's a very, very sad thing. thing. The Donald Trump debate of Donald Trump, followed by Biden versus Biden. Master debation. Only on Fox News. That's like... That's like Melania's worst nightmare come true. 
In New York today, prosecutors rested their $250 million fraud case against Trump, but not before calling Ivanka to the stand. Ivanka came in from Florida. There she is. She's got a serious blowout. Oh, yeah, she looks lovely. <laughs> it's like she's set to shoot a commercial for Pantene or something. <laughs> if you want to stay in the will, you have to look good. That's the rule. And then she headed inside to walk the red carpet. Um, <laughs> Ivanka, who are you wearing and or testifying against? <laughs> Only in the Trump family does take your daughter to work day mean she's forced to testify in court, but on the stand, Ivanka repeatedly answered, I don't recall, I don't recall, I don't recall, which is a phrase she picked up from her father whenever Eric asked when his birthday was. <laughs> Ivanka's testimony, they're saying that her testimony could be crucial in this case because she's the only one of Trump's kids he can identify by face. <laughs> Last night, as she was preparing to testify, Trump uh, wrote, tomorrow, my wonderful and beautiful daughter Ivanka is going to the lower Manhattan courthouse, which is much less effusive than what he wrote about Eric and Don Jr. He wrote, tomorrow, my dim bulb parasite sons, <laughs> toothy and chinless, are going to the lower Manhattan courthouse. <laughs> Meanwhile, Don Jr., this poor kid, is all over the place trying to just trying to help. He was one of the opening acts at a daddy rally in Florida tonight where attendees were offered an exciting chance to meet and greet. If you would like to meet Donald Trump Jr., Kimberly Guilfoyle, or Carrie Lake, please make your way to the back of the stadium. Again, if you would like to meet Donald Trump Jr., or Carrie Lake, or Kimberly Guilfoyle, please make your way to the back of the stadium okay. right now. Not all at once. Please, <laughs> folks. Do not rush the stage. We don't want anybody to get hurt. <laughs> it's not a very good election day for the MAGAverse yesterday. Democrats took control of the state house and Senate in Virginia. They held on to the governorship in deeply red Kentucky, even though Trump made a last minute push for the Republican candidate. He wrote, Kentucky, get out and vote for Daniel Cameron for governor. It is a vote you'll be very proud of. He will never let you down. And then as soon as Cameron lost, he wrote, Daniel Cameron lost because he couldn't alleviate the stench of Mitch McConnell. I moved him up 25 points, but the McConnell relationship was too much to bear. So, under the bus you go. He's never lost. It's really incredible. He wins even when he loses. Voters in Ohio overwhelmingly passed a measure to protect a woman's right to choose. And thorn in the Republican side. Many pundits have been speculating today why this has been such a losing issue for the Republican Party, but none of them put it more eloquently than Lawrence Jones of Fox and Friends. What do you think the Republicans need to do with their abortion messaging? Well, I, I think it's their overall message in general. Uh, you got to talk directly to the people. You got to give and take on some issues. Mm -hmm. It looks like the majority of Americans don't like the rape and incest thing. Yeah, that sounds... <laughs> Sounds right. I mean, I haven't done a quick show of hands. Let's incest anyone. <laughs> Ohio last night became the 24th state in the union to legalize cannabis for recreational use. And it's, <laughs> I mean, it's about time. The Wright brothers are from Ohio. Neil Armstrong is from Ohio. People from Ohio know how to get high. It's and, <laughs> and not only is the word high in the name of the state, even the Ohio state flag has a red eye staring into nothing. <laughs> so congratulations to them. You know, the My Pillow man, Mike Lindell, was keeping uh, an eye on the election. He claims to be using a series of what he calls wireless monitoring devices to keep tabs on the voting. I'm pretty sure that means he bought a walkie-talkie, but Mike has a thing he does mostly on his show, which we actually are monitoring wirelessly. And during these monitoring sessions, we notice that when Mike is making a point, and gets excited about that point, his body makes unusual sounds. Maybe he'll stop talking now about the election platforms. E wrong. What's that county in Kentucky that thinks they're illegal? Oh, yeah. E wrong. Oh, maybe it's a really good governor. E wrong. We're making whatever Mike Lindell brings into Kentucky illegal. E What's the first thing he did, Brandon? E as soon as they ran out of pillows, e none of the machines are online. They're e That's for decoration. E we just have a machine over here. E e e e e e e There's something next to your house that's online. E all the machines. E e e e e Red alert, red alert. Beep, 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 beep. Red alert, red alert. <laughs> 
The guy who hates machines sure sounds a lot like one. I don't know. What if he was the machine all along that he's been looking for? You know, up in Canada, uh, Saskatchewan, to be precise, there's a small town. Maybe you know. You know the town of Lanigan? OK, so they're, well, they're getting, a, they're getting a new potash mine, in case you're in the market for some potash. But this story, uh, from my point of view, has very little to do with potash and everything to do with the name of their mayor. No stranger to the ebbs and flows of Saskatchewan's natural resources, Lanigan Mayor Tony Mycock can't understate how important this is for the province and his community. It's, it's a very exciting for our community, the surrounding area. Um, I mean, the province as a whole, this is a huge investment in Saskatchewan. As excited as he is about the prospects, Mycock admits he's a little worried too. In some ways, it is a little, little scary. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. I mean, I, it is a little scary. The scariest part is, how do we not know there was a Mayor Mycock out there? <laughs> what did those campaign lawn signs look like? <laughs> Vote for Mycock. <laughs> how could you not? It's almost unfair. This is good, too. This is from New Jersey, where a pre-owned vehicle had an unfortunate encounter with local wildlife. Troy Westcott is all about dribbling in his driveway and getting some air. But the 13-year-old's jumps just cannot compete with this one. I'm wondering, where did this thing come from? A leaping deer hurtling over a car before crash landing onto this pickup truck mere moments after a guy from Ocean County pulled up to buy the 2007 Chevy Silverado in mint condition from Troy's dad. You promised the guy the truck's in immaculate condition and a deer comes out of nowhere and just caves the side of it in. Well, you know, deer have been getting hit by cars for almost 100 years. I think it's kind of about time it went the other way. Back to the CMA Awards. One of the biggest stars of the night with the second most nominations of anyone this year is the artist known as Jelly Roll. You know Jelly Roll? And Jelly Roll has many gifts. He, uh, he's a singer, he's a writer, he's a rapper, but the gifts that he um, treasures most are for Christmas. And so for those of you who are looking to get a jump start on your holiday shopping, boy, does Mr. Roll have a good idea for you. Hi, I'm Jelly Roll, and if you're like me, finding that perfect gift for everyone on your list can be overwhelming. And that's why I'm so pleased to share a special gift that you can give to one and all. The gift of tattoos! Any idiot can buy a sweater or a book, but the gift of fresh ink is a gift that lasts forever. Just ask my family. The only gift I want from Jelly Roll is more time with my grandson. But when I told him, he said, well, f that, Mima. I'm gonna get you a mermaid tramp stand. Uncle Jelly Roll got me an ACDC face tattoo. Now, he's not allowed within 100 yards of me. Sad. Illegal, but awesome! My nephew, Jelly Roll, used to give me cigarettes for Christmas, which I love. But last year, he gave me something even better. Nipple tattoos. Merry Nipsmas! How's that tattoo coming, G? It hurts so bad, Mr. Yelly Roll. Well, good. That's how you know it's working. Uh, that hurt also. This holiday season, give a gift they'll never forget because it's permanently grafted on their skin. You're welcome. Tattoos. Just try to re-gift that <laughs> Tattoos available wherever they're sold and also in prison. Warning, excessive face tattoos may result in Post Malone. 